Cancers come in a range of shapes and sizes and can affect different parts of the body in different ways. Neuroblastoma is a type of cancer that occurs principally in babies and young children. Worldwide, it accounts for approximately 6% of all childhood cancers. In the UK, it affects around 100 children every year and, in its more aggressive form, has a low survival rate. Neuroblastoma occurs when specialized nerve cells called neuroblasts are left behind from the child's time in the womb and become cancerous. It is an aggressive cancer which has often spread to multiple organs by the time it is diagnosed. Dr. Stefano Giuliani is a consultant neonatal and pediatric surgeon at Great Ormond Street Hospital and associate professor at UCL Great Ormond Street Institute of Child Health, both in London in the UK. Funded by the Wellcome EPSRC Center for Interventional and Surgical Sciences, WEISS, he is working on a pioneering research study that could dramatically improve survival rates for children with this kind of cancer. Treatment for neuroblastoma involves surgically removing the entire tumor, but this is challenging because neuroblastoma grows around the largest and most critical blood vessels, nerves, and organs in the body, and it's not easy to tell the difference between cancerous tissue and normal healthy tissues. This raises the risk of damaging these tissues during surgery, which can lead to dangerous situations such as severe bleeding. Fluorescence-guided surgery could solve this issue, so Dr. Giuliani and his team are developing specific fluorescent probes which can clearly highlight cancer cells. The team uses fluorescent molecules that have the ability to emit visible light when exposed to specific wavelengths, like infrared. These fluorescent probes are formed using a clever biochemical technique. The main way the body's immune system detects cancer cells as abnormal is by recognizing molecules on the surface that are not normally expressed by healthy cells. This causes the production of antibodies and activates the immune system. The same strategy is used by researchers when developing antibodies that are directed against these specific molecules. Biomedical scientists have developed an antibody specific to neuroblastoma that Dr. Giuliani and his team can modify in a lab to attach a fluorescent particle to it. When these modified antibodies are introduced to the body, they attach to the neuroblastoma cells and nowhere else. This means that when the tumor is exposed during surgery, it is literally lit up against surrounding tissue by all of the fluorescent molecules attached to it. This makes it much easier for surgeons to distinguish cancerous cells from healthy cells and remove the tumor accurately. Dr. Giuliani and his team have obtained good data in vitro and in animal models for this technique and will now translate their findings to humans in a clinical trial. They hope this new technology will be saving children's lives within five years. Surgery will become more precise, leaving less cancer behind and improving survival rates. In time, this technique could be extended to treat many different types of cancer, potentially saving many lives worldwide. What could you achieve? in the field of neonatal and pediatric surgery.